Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Jack the Mind Sculptor, and this is my Modern Masters Booster Box opening. So super excited that I finally have the set, and yo, now it's time to open it. Uh, I'm actually recording this right before I go to um, a Modern Masters Friday Night Magic, so uh, a little bit in a rush, but I couldn't wait to uh, open this box because it's actually been sitting in my car all day long. It's actually a pretty interesting box. It's not the typical square shape. Uh, you can see it's actually like more of a prism. Probably uh, works pretty well for the displays. Fancy. It actually is quite fancy. Fancy. Uh, slide that in. You got the insert here, of course, and then you got the boosters. So uh, let's go ahead and play the foil tarmogoyf, or the foil tarmogoyf lottery and see what we get. So I've been looking forward to this set because it has so many cards I actually need. Um, the thing is, like, you know, I still need a lot of cards in this set for my cube. I've been holding off on buying them in case I do open them. So uh, here goes uh, the first booster. Super expensive boosters, of course. All right, what do we got here? We got... All right, Foil Mass and Myers. Uh, not ideal, but still cool. And Grand Arbiter Augustine. So this is a uh, more of an EDH commander. Uh, don't really need him, but still kind of cool to have. And then a flash of the uncommons. So, uh, yep, the first pack is basically a miss, but still, I mean, Grand Arbiter is still a card that's in demand. It's not worthless. There are actually very few worthless rares in this set. I mean, that's why it's so expensive and uh, there's so much hype around it. All right, what do we got back here? Ooh, Foil Raven's Cry. This card is actually played in some legacy decks, so not actually a useless uh, foil common. And then we got, nice, Pact of Negation. So this is actually one of the money cards. It's played in a lot of formats, uh, especially like EDH, because a zero mana counter spell can uh, surprise your opponent out of nowhere. So pretty nice pull. So obviously, uh, yeah, I want a Tarmogoy for my cube. I still need um, a Dark Confidant for my cube too, but those are mythics. Hopefully we don't get like the double mythic dragons, which are, uh, they're still worth something, but you know, you always want what's best. Bat Token and Sporloff Ancient, okay. Pretty unexciting. And uh, Ether Sworn Canonist, great in um, the Artifacts deck in Limited. Uh, not really a chase rear at all. All right, next up we got token, of course. Latchkey Fairy in the front. Ooh, foil grape shot, pretty nice. Uh, if you ever want to do like a storm deck in Legacy or anything, and then our rare is Rude Awakening, another good limited card. But uh, that's actually one of the rares that's worth like almost nothing. Oh, and uh, some sweet new uh, Trigon Predator art. So uh, so far, a lot of uh, misses other than uh, Pact of Negation. And the, the foil commons are actually not terrible. You know, the, some of the commons are actually pretty useful. Ooh, we got Goblin Rogue and Foil Either Snipe. Pretty cool looking. And our rare is... Bam! Blink Moth Nexus. Alright, this is actually a chase rare. You know, it's a land that's also a creature. Those are always uh, very useful. And you know, if I was drafting, a lot of the money rares, like I said, they're actually really good in draft too. Because Blink Moth Nexus is not going to you know, win the game on its own. But it's a land that also acts as a uh, flying creature. So... <laughs> It's actually not bad at all. Alright, what do we got? We got... <laughs> Foil Blinding Beam. I remember this card from Mirrodin. It's actually really good and limited. And then BAM! Alright, Maloku the Clouded Mirror. Very useful card. I actually already have her. And she is uh, actually a great win condition in cubes. And uh, in limited too, just because um, she turns all the lands you don't need late game into 1-1 flyers. So you know, you can block with them, etc. And you actually don't lose the land, it just comes back to your hand. So a very good card in uh, Draft and Sealed. All right, next up we got Incremental Growth, okay, very unexciting, but then we have <laughs> Verdaloff the Ancient, sure, so he is another uh, limited all-star, but not really a chase card at all, Ooh, double vivid land here. All right, and this is actually uh, the last card in the first row because um, this set only comes with 24 boosters, there's actually a lot of air in this box, I mean it's more for display than anything else. All right, last booster in the first row is Foil Mirror Enforcer, sure. And our rare is, all right, Jora of the Gitu, a very good uh, EDH commander. So uh, no mythics yet, uh, which is kind of sucky. I think you're supposed to get about like two mythics or three mythics per box. Because uh, well, there are 24 packs and uh, mythics are one in eight. So we're actually uh, kind of under, under the radar, right? Or not under the radar, but under, uh, the threshold right now. All right, Foil Vivid Creek. Ooh, that looks kind of cool. The uh, Vivid Creeks are actually uh, decent in EDH too. All right, either Vile. This is actually a chase card. 
Uh, used in a lot of formats to uh, sneak low-cost creatures into play. In limited, not so not so good, just because um, it's hard, really hard to design your limited deck around either vial. Maybe like blue black fairies if you get a lot of three and four drops. Uh, either vial might be useful. All right, we got a full avian changeling, and then our rare is bam. All right, our first uh, really good card and our first mythic, sword of fire and ice. A uh, really nice new art, and sword of fire and ice is definitely one of the the higher price cards. Not as high price as a uh, tarmogoy from Bob, of course, but still a cool card. Uh, I actually already have a couple of them. Ooh, Kitchen Fix too. This guy is worth money. So yep, yeah, our first Mythic is a decent one. And uh, we actually have yet to get any uh, foil rares or uh, Mythics yet too, so still looking out for those. Mostly uh, foil common so far. Lava Spike, all right. Arcane deck. Whoa, foil Vendillion Clitch. Oh yeah. This is uh, one of the huge money uh, Mythics in this set and we got a foil version of it. Uh, definitely going straight in my cube. So 3-1 Flesh Flying, really awesome stats, and it gets to um, t basically take the best card in your opponent's hand and replace it. And in a pinch, if your hand's terrible, she can uh, cycle your hand too. So yeah, Foil Ven Click. Yes. And we got Arcbound Ravager. <laughs> okay, so another $20 card. That This pack is like the god pack. I mean, check this out. Man. There's a reason this thing has so much hype. Or uh, this uh, set has so much hype. Money cards everywhere. So I mean, one of two things is going to happen. Either these cards will go down in value because they're being reprinted, or uh, because it will increase the man, uh, demand for Modern so much, uh, the cards will actually stay the same value, but more people will be able to play Modern. And that's actually uh, Wizards of the Coast's goal. So what do we got here? We got Velkin Dismisser, sure. Worm Token, and Rare is a Dark Card Valkyrie. All right, this is an EDH card, kind of cool. Everybody loves Angels. Especially one that uh, protects uh, your other creatures. Alright. So yeah, pretty happy with uh, that foil event click. I could still use a Tarmogoyf. I'm sure everyone could actually. Alright, foil Dampen Thought if you want to go deep on the Arcane Mill deck. And then our rare is... Nice, Chalice of the Void. So a nice utility uh, artifact. Prevents uh, your opponents in Legacy and Vintage from uh, casting a lot of one-drop spells. Which actually kind of turns off a lot of decks. And uh, I, I don't show the uncommons, but a lot of the uncommons are actually worth money. I'm just doing this so the, the video is much quicker. Though uh, if, any, if, this, if there's any set where you would want to show the uncommons, it'd probably be this set. Alright, what do we got? We got Blind Spot Giant, sure. And Oriok Salvagers, the most useless rare, because this is actually used to be an uncommon. So, wah wah wah. Ooh, Murderous uh, Red Cap though. That guy's worth something. Oh, these cards smell so good. I always talk about the smell of the cards. I think uh, they're responsible for all the booster box being cracked just because people want to smell them. All right, ooh, nice uh, Executioner's Capsule. Too bad uh, this isn't really used anywhere, but cool looking. And then uh, Kataki's War Wage, all right. This is actually an Artifact Hate card. Uh, watch out if you're playing um, the Affinity deck and uh, your opponent has this in their deck. It will totally wreck you. All right. Last one for the middle column. So we got a one mythic and a regular mythic, and we got a foil mythic so far, so... Kind of hit our quotas, I think. Alright, foil Amru Seekers, sure. And the rare is... Greater Gargadon. So this guy, uh, does he play in cubes and stuff? Kind of a cool effect, and he gives Red a sacrifice outlet. Red actually traditionally has a lot of... Ooh, Eternal Witness. Red traditionally has a lot of... Um, uh, threaten effects where they steal an opponent's creature, and Greater, Gar Greater Gargadon is great because uh, after you steal them and use it, you can sacrifice them instead of giving it back. Alright, what do we got here? Alright, we're in our third column, so we got... Ooh! Foil Glen Alendra Archmage! Oh man, this guy is used in pretty much all cubes in EDH, and the foil one is worth so much more because people like to uh, foil out their EDH decks. So this is an awesome pool. Man. And then our rare is, ooh, all right, second mythic, not a Tarmogoyf, but Kokusho, the Evening Star, is just as good, and I do need this guy. Uh, very, very good card in a lot of Eternal formats, because, you know, he swings for a 10 life, and very good Unlimited, too. So, another really good pack with a mythic and a foil rare. And we got stuff. Man, you know, it's hard not to be excited to open these packs, just because 
the amount of good cards in here and like you get a guaranteed foil in every pack it really uh you get a lot of oohs and ahs essentially Ooh, ah all right foil walk over the grove a lot of tokens in this set too and ooh, figure of destiny this is actually a good card played in all eternal formats and cube or sorry not all eternal formats uh he used to be but definitely played in cube because he's a very efficient one drop We've got a nice uh, path to exile here Path to Exile is definitely what you want to open up in your limited pool, or I guess pa past you second pick, because everyone's going to be uh, picking money cards first pick, so. <laughs> Alright, what do we got? We got, ooh, Foil Spell Stutter Sprite. This is actually a real card. Uh, another EDH card, and um, yeah, awesome card, and the foil version is worth a lot of money. Although there is an FNM foil of that too. And ooh, another e Inner Vial. So I think that's our first repeat. Lightning Helix in here too. So uh, at least if you're going to repeat a rare, you know, as long as it's repeating a uh, money rare, I guess I'm fine with that. Alright, and we got... Alright, Foil Ruined Stalactite. And our rare is Extirpate. Alright, that was a pretty terrible pack. But you know, you can't win them all. Getting pretty low here, still no Tarmogoyf. And because we already got a Foil Rare and a Foil Mythic, Highly unlikely we'll get a full Tarmogoyf, but you never know. Alright, full Street Wraith, actually kind of nice. This guy's played in a modern deck, in the Living End deck. Yeah, ooh, Knight of the Reliquary. This guy is also a, a Legacy card and played in cubes, and I actually needed one for my cube, so uh, super happy to pull him. Spell Snare is another uh, money rare, uh, played in Legacy a lot. Alright, getting close to the end here. Then I can go uh, eat a quick dinner and then head out to uh, FNN. All right, what do we got? We got fo Foil Thalid with a Treefolk Shaman token. And the rare is... All right, this guy actually, I think he used to be an uncommon. Could be wrong, he might be rare. But uh, he, he makes it in some cubes. It's He's very powerful, or a her, I guess, if you would connect with it, but uh, very hard to set up. It is a three mana one one. I guess good against the blue decks, obviously, with the Island Walk. All right, still no uh, Bob or Tarmogoyf. Ooh, Foil Glacial Ray. I want to play this guy in Limited. Should be fun. And then... Nice! Another Vendillion click. Okay, so I mean, uh, with the, this being the third Mythic, we're probably not getting any uh, Tarm Goyce in the last pack, but I can't be, you know, incredibly unhappy with a double Vendillion click. One being a Foil one, so... Alright, this is the last pack. Let's do it. Let's do it. Alright, let's slow roll this. Kifkin Greatheart, kind of interesting card in the Giant's Archetype. 2-1 that turns into a 3-2 first strike. Brute Force is a Red Giant Grove. This guy's pretty good, 2 mana for a 4-4 flyer. Uh, he is a Suspend 4 though, and a Suspend uh, Lightning Bolt essentially, also good and limited. Ivory Giant, very interesting effect. A lot of Suspend cards. Uh, this, uh, this set has a lot of uh, Future Sight cards, so... Death Denied, uh, this is basically a multiple raised dead. This is a 1-1 one, one token generator. Might be good if you get Echo and Courage. Uh, more token generators here. Uh, this guy is good in the Artifact deck. The Green Ramp deck would want this guy. And here is Mana Fixing. And Lightning Helix is just pure value. 5-5 five, five plus gain 10 life. Oh, and our last wear is Countryside Crusher with a Thesis. Alright, so pretty unexciting last pack. But uh, yeah, not too bad. I mean, what do we got? We got... Countryside Crusher, Vendillion Click, Codite Selkie, Knight of the Reliquary, Extirpate, Ether Vial, Figure of Destiny, Kokusho, the Evening Star, Foil Glendalendra, Greater Gargadon, Kataki War Wage, Wars Wage, Oryok Salvagers, Chalice of the Void, a Dark Heart Valkyrie, Arcbound Ravager, a Foil Vendillion Click, Sword of Fire and Ice, Ether Vial, Jora of the Gitu, Verdalof the Ancient, Maloku the Cloud and Mirror, Blink Moth Nexus, Rude Awakening, Either Sworn Canonist, Pact of Negation, Grand Arbiter Augustine the Fourth, and the notable foils are, I guess, let's see, Street Wraith is pretty cool. Uh, Spell Status Sprite is nice, and a lot of non-exciting cards. Oh, Raven's Crown is pretty nice too. So overall, not unhappy with this box, and uh, 
I do have a second box, but I am drafting that with friends. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And um, yeah, until next time, this is Jack the Mind Sculptor signing out. And if you enjoyed this video, please remember to comment, like, and subscribe. And definitely check out my other videos. And if you want to contact me, check out my Facebook or Twitter.